Hi and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about class members. You would notice that in each class, this registration form, we have several variables and functions. All the variables and functions are called class members. There are basically two types of class members. There are the class attributes and also the instance attributes. The class attributes are attached to the class itself, like this um, underscore underscore copy, and these are class attributes. But every attribute that has self attached to it are called instance attributes. That is, this attribute exists inside a copy or an instance of the class. Other attributes can also be declared inside uh, a class. You can see right here we have just a function inside the class and there is also um, the st a static method. You use an instance attribute or a class attribute or just an ordinary function or a static function in a class depending on the situation um, you have and what you want to um, implement. Instance variables are called using um, the class and then a dot notation uh, to the variable. Here is an underscore underscore copy is an is class variables are called by I class variables are called using the name of the class a dot which is a dot notation and then the variable name underscore underscore copy is a class variable and to call that or to make use of it you have to say registration form that is the name of the class then dot underscore underscore copy you do the same for class methods you do the same for uh, class static uh, methods you also do the same for just an ordinary method or an ordinary function like this that is in um, that is inside a class. You already know how to declare um, a variable in a class. Let's look at how to declare a class method. You define a class method by first writing, by first putting the at uh, the class method decorator, and this is how we do it class method and then you can define the class method say get copies to and in a class method you also have to put um, the first parameter that specify an attachment to the class so this is attached to the class and then you can return uh, CLS underscore underscore copy basically what this is doing is returning um, this variable the class methods are usually used to uh, manipulate the class uh, variables so here I'm returning the class method and the CLS method uh, the CLS parameter is used to attach um, it's attaching it is is used to reference the class itself so instead of doing registration dot underscore underscore copy, I can just do CLS, which represent the class, underscore underscore copy. Um, in the real instance, this is how a class uh, method should be done. The difference between this function in a class and a class method is that in every instance, the class method is available. But for these um, get copies, the class method is not available in every instance. So every copy of uh, the registration form gets to call a get copies to, but you cannot do that with the get uh, copies method, the get copy function inside the class. Let's take a look at it. Now, this is get copies get copies is the function inside the class you can call get copies 
this way, but you cannot call get copies. You cannot call a, a form from one and say get copies. It's not going to let you do that. So in an instance where you want only get copies to be called from the original form, you use the function. But in an instance where you want, you can see right here, it's showing that uh, uh, there is an error. Get copies um, is throwing an error. But in an instance where you want to still be able to call the instance, uh, you to still be able to call the class method get copies in all the instance, then you will have to use the cl class method um, decorator and instantiate your class, I mean instantiate your method this way. So let's come back and look at it. If I want to do form one dot get copies and I do the two, you see it, it works. It's, it's showing me that uh, form one dot get copies is available. Let me print it out so you see the copies. So you see the copies works, but if I do just the function, it's not going to work. It's going to give me error. So depending on what you want to implement, you can do it this way. The reason why I did it this way, I had, um, I used the function is because I want everyone to get the number of copies only from the, the class. And um, this is why I used get copies. But in the real world, you can do this or you can just use a uh, class method. There is also another uh, class method that is called the static method. Static method. It takes in the decorator static method. It works similar to the function inside a class. So let's do an example. Dev get copies three. It doesn't take in any parameter, and you can return, of course, um, the copy. Now, what this does is that it works almost exactly like um, the function inside the class, but the static method will is not attached to the class and basically is used for utility uh, methods that you want to package with the class and everywhere you go with the class the, the methods that you put in here will be avail will be available for use um, the only thing is that it is will be available for use in the instance will be available to be called in the instance and also in the class. Let's take a look at it. So I have class method three. Um, if I call the get copies, this get copies is the function. It's not going to work because it doesn't allow you to call. Um, it doesn't allow you to call the get copies the function because it doesn't allow you to call the function on an instance but if I'm doing the get copies to that is the class method it allows me to call that on an instance and also if I do get copies three this also allows me to call um, on an instance this is the static get copies version the difference is that um, the static method is is not attached to the class like the class method and the class function is not attached to the class the static method can be accessed on the instance but the get copies cannot be accessed on the instance of the class so in my own implementation i wanted it to be this way so that you would you wouldn't be able to access the number of copies from the 
uh, instances only from the class directly, from the class itself. Some will argue that uh, I should use the class method and some will argue that I should use uh, the static method. But it, it all really depends on how and what you are intending to do.